What is going on my broskies? My name is Toadski back again here to bring you guys yet another One Piece video. Not a One Piece treasure cruise video, but I really wanted to make a video about this because I was just so excited and maybe you guys are going to share the excitement with me because personally I'm, I'm the type of guy that does love card games. I collect, I play, I love card games, whether it be from Pokemon to Yu-Gi-Oh, Digimon, and recently got into a little bit of flesh and blood. So I have, you know, my, my experience with card games. And obviously with this YouTube channel, we've been covering a lot of One Piece treasure crews over the past, you know, like seven years. The fact that they've officially announced a One Piece card game for 2022 has me just crazy levels of excited. So in this video today, we're going to go through all of the information that is compiled as of this moment for the One Piece card game. So let's go ahead and check out the website. The website will be down below in the video description if you guys want to check it out for yourself. But uh, it says discover the One Piece worldwide release 2022. Scrolling down, it goes and gives you uh, just a little bit of a teaser. It doesn't actually show much at all. Everything in the website actually shows you more than what is actually in this video. This is more of just a promotional teaser trailer but you can see here available july 2022 i believe that is when the japanese versions of the cards are going to release and then uh, later on in the video it does say like worldwide release later in 2022 um I, I have actually been keeping up to date with a lot of other card games and the digimon tcg which came out like in 2020 um when that officially got released first that was released in japan first and then a few months later it was a worldwide release for all the other languages and uh the thing is as well is that this is actually developed by Bandai and a lot of people get this confused about Bandai and Bandai Namco. One Piece Treasure Cruise, the, the videos that we make on this YouTube channel, is, is uh, published by Bandai Namco Entertainment who cover video games. Bandai specifically only cover like toys, trading cards obviously like Tamagotchi and the actual Digimon Digivices. They cover the Dragon Ball Super card game as well and now they're going to be going ahead and bringing the uh, One Piece trading card game as well. So it's, it's just very, very exciting stuff. So scrolling down a little bit further, we get this image right here, which actually gives us a, a very, very small glimpse of one of the trading cards. Various characters will be available as cards. Explore and discover one piece with your own tactics and builds. So there's actually a zoomed in version here. Now, the thing about this is it does say leader. Now, if you guys are, you know, familiar with the Dragon Ball Super card game as well, you know, obviously developed by Bandai. That game utilizes a leader system, which means that your deck will have like one main card as like your leader for your deck. And it's all about revolving around that leader, buffing that unit as your main like attacking unit. So that appears to be the same. You can see he's got 4,000 power. I'm not really too sure what this symbol means. It might be a color representation. Monkey D. Luffy, Straw Hat Crew, Captain. So that's cool that it actually gives you a little bit more categorization for each of these characters. Five life points. Only five life points. So maybe they might take some uh, some liberties from the Digimon card game. Because I know with Digi Digimon, you actually have a very, very small life. Like I think you only start with six life points. Um, so interestingly enough, only starting with five life and there is another symbol here i'm not really too sure what this symbol means of course we're going to get full information about how this game is played a little bit later on but back to the actual website when we scroll down there's a little bit of a teaser as to what kind of products are going to be releasing so there's going to be four starter decks when it first gets released one for the straw hat crew one for the worst generation one for the animal kingdom pirates and then one for the seven warlords of the sea uh, personally i'm going to just go, go ahead and get all of them i'm definitely going to be picking all of these up but interesting that they're going to be you know partnering the seven warlords together in one deck and then the worst generation are all in one deck like i can understand pirate crews like animal kingdom pirates and straw hats that's that makes a lot of sense but partnering worst generation and then the seven warlords together very very interesting decision and i like that they're all color coded as well because we saw with the luffy card he's like a red card and with this one here we see kid is going to be green kaido is purple and crocodile is blue so i wonder if they're going to introduce other colors as well because i know with the digimon card game i think there's like for five six maybe i think it's five or six colors maybe even seven colors uh in the digimon card game so we might see that as well but then we scroll down a little bit further a little bit more information the first official set to release is going to be called one piece card game romance dawn bt01 which is the same kind of set code that they actually use in the Di in the digimon card game like the first booster box was like bt01 i believe that's going to be the, the same thing here romance dawn and even though this is titled romance dawn i do not think they're going to be starting off at windmill village you know with luffy 
Luffy and uh, him meeting Shanks because you can see quite obviously on the artwork it's Luffy, Law and Kid from Onigashima so I, I like that I like that they're not starting it at square one it's literally going to be pulling from every different component of the One Piece series and that's going to be good because it could be literally years if they went set by set progressively through the story so I am very happy that that is going to be the case uh, they also mentioned very briefly here there's going to be some card sleeves and also that there's going to be another starter deck including One Piece film characters which actually does make a lot of sense considering the One Piece film is going to be releasing August 6th I believe this year in 2022 so it would make sense if they're going to have like a starter deck to promote that and it says all One Piece film characters so it could be like Straw Hats from the film it could be like Douglas Bullet, Zephyr, Shiki, Tezora as well as you know Shanks and whatever stuff we get in film red so I, I really do like that they're going to be promoting the film through this as well so we got five essentially different starter decks um, already announced which is absolutely crazy scrolling down a little bit further we do get an official message from Oda-san saying a new trading card game is on the way I don't know much about card games uh, but is it something like Yu-Gi-Oh right and <laughs> they jump out the cards right I heard they're going to use illustration illustrations from the original work and release it worldwide they're really going all out and i'll see it through till the end let's go one piece card game cannot wait uh, they don't actually can jump out of the cards though so that's really awesome that uh, oda-san has actually come out come out and actually you know endorsed that uh, the trading card game is going to be well on its way obviously not a lot of information is known right now but then there was another article written up here on the v jump website um, giving us a little bit more information about these starter decks and and what we should be expecting in this article, it actually give, gave us a little bit of a glimpse as to some of the cards that we should be seeing, as well as a very clear picture at the booster pack. Romance Dawn One Piece card game OP01, so I guess that's what they're going to be going with, which actually makes perfect sense. And we get a little bit of a view of each of the cards. So all of these cards have five life points, 4,000, I guess it's power maybe, um, and all of them are different colors as we already knew, red, green, blue, and purple. But then there's another card here, which is actually Yamato, and this artwork looks absolutely crazy and that's the thing as well is that if they're going to be including like all of these different artworks of these characters obviously there's multiple different luffy's that they're going to be releasing later on down the line um these seem to be the artworks that they used for the viva cards which were informational pieces given out throughout the years in uh, magazines and stuff like that and i'm not really too sure what they're going to be going with um it could it could be very very strange i don't know it does seem they're going to be going the official route through oda-san's artwork but this yamato artwork on this card i don't know i've never seen that before it actually looks super super crazy um, i love the art style on this one and obviously we get a little bit of view of a view of the back of the card here on this corner one right here so it looks good i, I think oh, just at the moment it looks pretty clean we just need to know how to play now it was briefly mentioned in this article as well that there are additional cards called don cards and these cards will just enable you to get additional boosts throughout a fight so obviously this gives like plus 1000 power to your to your character whether it be your leader or if you have like other characters in, in your deck. I'm not too sure how it all is going to work at this point, but these are other types of cards that are going to be in here. This article also briefly mentions that in June this year, there's going to be a smartphone application that teaches you how to play the One Piece card game. And this is also the same thing that they did with the Digimon card game. There was a smartphone app that had a couple of like computer AIs that you could play against using starter decks. And no, this is not an official release of like an online simulator. This is just a tutorial application teaching you how to play the game right before the official release of the physical cards in Japan so this is awesome that they're going to be releasing this and of course when it does come out I'll probably you know I don't know if I'll make a video on it or I'll, I'll probably live stream it or something but definitely seems pretty interesting the layout of the field seems a bit odd but hopefully you do get more information about how this card game is actually played a little bit later on so with all that being said that is going to conclude this One Piece video very very excited for the brand new One Piece trading card game let me know down below in the comment section are you guys going to go ahead and pick this one up i'll definitely go ahead and uh, show you guys more content on this as we get it in the future on the youtube channel and of course when the official card game does release i'll definitely be buying some of these products and opening them up on the twitch channel and maybe we might go ahead and make a couple videos for the youtube channel as well hopefully you guys enjoyed the video today and if you guys did enjoy it make sure you go ahead and leave a like and if you want to stay up to date with all the content that i post including more one piece treasure cruise content make sure you go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below but other than that guys i'll see you guys within the next video.